you got a really great gig and you deserve to get yourself something good. And I thought, you thought, and I agreed that I thought you should get a suit. And we drove out to LA to go. Oh God. <laughs> I might mess this one up. So start from when we went to a couple different stores, because this was very early on in our relationship. Yes, you wanted me to have a suit. You felt it was very important for me to have a suit. And let me go to those places where you can get that that suit for like um, it was like three for two ninety nine. But I knew that was gonna be bullshit suits, so I quickly got over that because I know you're you gonna pay. Fit, you couldn't fit them anyway. I couldn't fit them anyway, but you're gonna pay for what you get. Mm -hmm. So we go to Men's Warehouse. Yep. <laughs> All around local to us and IE. And we went because they said they can do custom. Yeah, they said they could do custom. Bullshit. Okay, men's warehouse. I gotta check the game. Anyway, so we go, it's like, all right, we're gonna get this big suit. So you go big suit. And then it's like, all right, we gotta get bigger. And then we gotta get bigger. And then it's like, we get, now it's a hefty man suit. Hefty, right? You can say hefty. Because isn't the F word bad word? Full figured. I don't know what a you're full figured, say. a full figured man suit. And I was drowning in this suit, and they brought it in, and the pockets on the side was pretty much towards my ass. Everybody like, kept telling me, "Go to the garment district. Go to the garment district." So we went to the garment district downtown LA, and I'm thinking, "All right, we gotta find something here." Garment district, right? It's cool. They were. I think we went to like two basements. Yeah. Go to two basements. It's like, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm like, no, nah, I don't think you have anything. So I'm like, okay, I'm getting discouraged. Somehow, how did we come up? Someone told me, my friend Voice, told me about this place. Go here to go here to go here. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay. So it's one of these, all the buildings in downtown LA are fucking old. So we go here. The fucking elevator, that shit didn't even work. It was rickety as fuck. It was yeah. something like Constantine mm -hmm. with the, you go in the open and it, the, 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 the fucking metal shit closes. And then the, yeah, I wasn't getting on it. So he took the stairs. Mm -hmm. And, and we go on the stairs. Huh? We knocked on a door, right? No, did we, we didn't. Get to no, a person? We didn't get, hold on, my okay, love. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Remember, this is the guy. I know. So we go up the stairs and it smells like smoke. And it's like, you can go. They make little designs because the smoke is thick. And it's a hallway. It's a hallway. And there's this guy. Let me see if I can do it. He's like this. No, it, it's in a window. Yeah, it's a window. There's a hallway. Fucker, listen okay, to me. Go. So he goes like this. You're the one suit. I'm holding your hand like and put you behind me. <laughs> if somebody gonna get it hurt, it'll be me first. You ain't fucking my pussy up. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm like, little, yes. He gets up. Come with me. Shit. I remember he had a matching tracksuit. <laughs> yes, it was a matching tracksuit. They always had a matching tracksuit. It's in every movie. It's in every movie. I think they were this is real it. life. <laughs> this is what inspires the movies with the tracksuit. <laughs> and I'm still like, I'm here and you're here. And I'm like, you are, hmm. If anything pop off, just run. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not going to leave you. So we go and I'm, I don't want to move. And I'm like, okay, I'll go with you. And he comes in there, and there's this fabric, and there's suits, and it's real stank with fucking nicotine and shit. Puts it down. Oh, suit. I don't have anything here for you. <laughs> what the fuck you got for me, man? So now I'm now my soul and my butthole is went up oh inside me. It's, it's like, huh? I'm feeling like a failure as a man. Like I got my woman. I brought my woman here. You, my woman. And I'm like, they going to skin me. Oh, no, I was pissed off. We couldn't find a suit anywhere. And it's not about pissed off, them. motherfucker. I'm up here scared for my wife. Oh, well, what are you talking about? Daylight. I don't give a fuck. That's okay, not, so that anyway. not somebody in the daylight from doing okay, some shit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. You want to tell it? No, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Follow me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna follow you. So we go down this little ass stair. It's kind of spiral and shit. And we we go. <laughs> Why do you stairs. look like Ernie? <laughs> and we go. And then follow me. Okay. 
So now we get out of the building. I'm like, okay, we're out of the building. There's people around. <laughs> but I've seen movies that don't mean shit. And then, oh, my agent is calling. What? Lawrence, hold on. <laughs> I, I, I could call him back. Let me just do this. Okay. Lawrence, I'm sorry. So we go. We go down the street. It's in the alley. Then we find, like, what the fuck are we in the alley for? Then we get to the sidewalk. We cross the street. Then we go down the street. We cross the street. And then now we got to go up these other stairs. This shit looks suspect as fuck. Yeah. And every time my soul, like the underverse on Riddick, is kind of, oh, where are you going, motherfucker? <laughs> I'm like, no, I got a new suit. No, no. And it goes. And then we get to the door. It was, I forgot the number on it. And they go, do, 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 do. Like it was a code. And then you hear, yeah! Shit. I think this is a bad idea. But the door opens. And when the door opens... Holy shit, this place is legit! Oh my god, there's books of fine fabrics and silks and ties. And then in this closet is a whole bunch of amazing suits already made. And I'm like, oh my god, and then this beautiful man, Stefano, comes. And I'm like, hi. Real suit guy, right? He said, yes, why? I don't want to let this motherfucker know. I'm like, man, I've been scared the whole time. This motherfucker took us down and was smoking fucking a pack of cigarettes a fucking mile long and thick ass smoke and then comes down and then the, and then the, and then the, not the elevator, but the stairs and then the, the street and the alley and then he brings us in the secret knock. I couldn't tell him that. So you did it. So I did it. And then he says, okay, my friend, what can I do for you? I need a suit. My wife making me do this shit. <laughs> You said, you know my prices? No. What's the price? <laughs> so he told me the price. And I go, how much? And then you like, I got it. Okay. Okay. What kind of suit do you want? And you speak up. Oh, he needs a basic black suit. We're going to start off with a black one. Cool. So we go through the different fabrics of the black suit. And I'm like, damn, there's so many different blacks and this. And they tell me about this fine fabric of a suit that it should be. And then the now the shirt. And what color shirt you got? I got a pink one and I got a white one. What kind of material? I'm like, I don't know. Like, then it's all this fine, just fabric in the inside. And then my name could be on the side. And then the monogram. And I'm like, wow, you this to, is amazing. You had to pick the collar. I had to pick the collar and the cuffs and everything. And then he says, so like, okay, so how you want your suit look like? I'm like, more of a, you know, Euro look, you know? I don't want that, you know, I want to look sexy, but I want to look like, yeah, like Ebony Man of the Year. And he kind of, what? I want to look good, you know? I said, I don't want that Jordan. He's like, thank you! My friend, I love you. So I can design the suit and dress you? Yes. Oh, thank you. You know, I've gotten the black athletes to come in here and this, 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 all this fabric, and it doesn't look good for their bodies, but you look like a God, and I just want to dress you. Let me take your measurements. So then he taking my measurements and my arms. He goes, oh my God, you're so big. Then he goes, hey, okay. He's all down there and shit. He said, what do you need? And I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes here, sometimes. It depends on how I get up from my other car seat or something. It doesn't matter. Just surprise me. So wherever that is, and that's where it's going to go. Oh <laughs> so I'm like, oh man, this is really exciting. So he's doing the measurements and everything. And I'm like, wow, this is a really nice experience. And then I hear the price again. And then I see you. Oh, there's one. And that was eight. And there's that. That's a lot of money. So then I started getting faint. And I'm like, no, nah, man, I don't want those. And you like, hi. I'm getting you a suit. I'm like, okay, give me a suit. And then we're leaving because he's got measurements that he's going to email to Milan. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, we just leaving here with nothing? I don't get a gift bag or anything? Money on the counter you're just giving them. Go back to the same fucking place. Now I ain't got to go to the dude in the hallway with the smoke and the this. <laughs> and I just go straight to this guy. And Stepano is amazing. I love him. And he looks all fly and shit. And I'm like, great. And then the suit. Why is the suit not made? What the fuck? 
It's all unfinished. It's fi unfinished. And there's lines and the, the threading. The threading and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Where's the. He said, no. Now the magic begins. Mm -hmm. So he does this and he redoes this and he. How will you stick your arms out? I'm like, this is far I'm going to go. This is not a work suit. He said, will you hug or I will greet people? And that's what I do. And that's it. So he. He adjusts everything about my, for my muscles and how I move and how I walk and for my thighs and how I sit down. I didn't know it was just all this shit you had to do for a fucking suit. So I'm like, wow, I'm really thoroughly impressed. I'm like, this is hot. Damn. He said, all right, I'll call you back when it's done. I come back and my goddamn, I'm leaking over myself. How fly I look. I'm like, goddamn, I wanted to pose, you know, do my thing. You know, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, this is really hot. And thank you for that experience. I really thank you for that. <laughs>